instead of keeping all my cleaning stuff underneath the sink, what I like to do is I have two different cleaning caddies, one for upstairs and one for downstairs, and the upstairs one I'm not too fond of. So today I decided I was gonna clean it all up, paint it black, and then just have a little bit of fun with paint. I've been using a Frenchic paint for the light fixtures. If you've seen my last DIY video, you saw me use that blonde light and it looked lovely, so I wanted to try it on the caddy. I ended up doing two coats on every side, so I'd paint, leave it to dry for 20 minutes and then do another side. In the end, it kind of took up the whole day just because I needed to wait for the paint to dry, but once it was dry, it was beautiful and then I could just get on to sketching. The day after I sat down, I took a sketch pencil and I just decided to have fun with it. With this one, I didn't want it to be too perfect. I didn't want to have the stress of thinking, oh, does this look like the best flower or the best bumblebee? I just wanted to sit down and draw something and unwind. So this is not going to be my best drawing by a long shot, but it was very therapeutic and I still think it looks better than what I had before. So that's a bonus. I left it for about an hour so that I could go back and look at it and see if I liked it and I decided I wanted to add a little bit of colour in the end after I used the pencils and the pens to add a few bits of colour on the roses, on the flowers and the bee. I decided that, you know what, maybe in a month or two I'm just going to repaint it all white because I kind of like the contrast of black and white. It's one of those things that I consistently go back to because I love the contrast. But again, like I said earlier, it still looked better than what I had before and it does cheer me up every time I look at it. So that's all the goals covered really. <laughs> If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done. <laughs>